Spiri. To tweet. My daddy loves Pokemon too. So are Pokemon like just like the center of this world's like culture? It seems like. Pretty Everyone's much culture, Everyone's... economy, yeah. Okay. Coming up with nicknames is fun, but it's not so easy to do. Clever names are nice, but simple names are easier to remember. Those Pokemon Mon Funbuck side was talking about. Those are probably like this world is on the Pokemon standard. They're actually made of like Pokemon bones or something. <laughs> Spiro name Spiri. Pokemon to me. Pokeballs at your those Pokeballs at your waist. You have Pokemon, don't you? It's great that you can carry and use Pokemon anytime, anywhere. I have Pokeballs? Well, that's what you store your Pokemon oh, in. Oh right, right. Which is actually pretty cool because in some of the games, they they make it to where your uh, your lead Pokemon, like the one that you know comes out as a default whenever you start a battle, mm -hmm. you can yep. actually go around if you want. I have, might, as, might as well get some more experience. Fair enough. Right. And we can full time to talk. You're saying? Oh yeah. Um, they actually make it to where they actually walk around with you. Oh, like on the map? Like they yeah, like they actually have a little sprite for them that follows oh, you around. Nice. Talking about like him like having all these like Pokemon Pokeballs at his belt, it makes me think of like like Rido Kuz Kuzanoa and those, you know, Devil Summer games. <laughs> he's got like you yes. know he's got like the test tubes that all his demons live in. Yes. Level up! I don't know how to tell Cory get that growth on his back looked at that. That, that that's kinda of worrisome. Kind of neat that they've got these. It's kind of also kind of neat they've got these like specific areas delineated where random battles happen. Well, it's like they cut the grass everywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, Rattata! Go, Cory! Tear him apart! I don't know why my why this kid in the game has a like a fifty year old man's voice or something. <laughs> Fight for my amusement. <laughs> Bring me his skull! <laughs> this ten year old kid, he's got like a throne of Pokemon skulls, skulls in his room. Oh, Jesus. Pidgey? Not as, it doesn't take as many skulls as an adult sized throne would need, but still, it's a lot. Definitely. Well, you know, he's gotta grow into it. He could always That's make true. a full size one. Alright, got it. Jeez, it wasted no time kicking you into another one. It's just like when you're in the grass, the random battles are pretty frequent. Yeah, yeah. Which they I are. guess, which which kind of makes sense considering there's like large areas where you're not in the grass. So true. In like the designated battle areas, it kind of makes sense to have the enemies be pretty thick. I suppose. Yep. There are there are also items that you can get like if you don't want you know you don't want the random battles. Uh, they're they're called repels, and they pretty much you know oh, okay. keep Pokemon away so you don't have to battle if you don't want to. Oh, cool. Pellet Town. Back to, back to the professor. Oh, John! How is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? John delivered Oaks first. So these game all have, games all have, like, si silent protagonists? Yep. Okay. Ah, it's the custom Pokeball. I hit it on order. Thank you. Gramps! Oh, it's, it's Nick, our nemesis. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Oh, right. I have a request for you, too. For us, for you, too. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. John and Nick, take these with you. John received the Pokedex from Professor O. You can't get detailed Pokemon on, on data on Pokemon just by seeing them. I thought you just said it recorded things that you've. Fo well, well you, you get seen. some. You get some okay. data from Pokemon that you've seen, but in order to complete. Oh, I see. Catch, catch them to get complete data. Okay, because that, then that's only you have to actually have them and catch them to do the dissection, obviously. 
pretty much. <laughs> so here are, here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. John received five Pokeballs. Five Pokeballs in the Pokeballs pocket. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. If you're lucky. Make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream, but I'm too old. I can't get the job done. So I want you to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps, leave it all to me. John, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I told her not to lend you one, John. Ha ha ha. Don't bother coming around to my place after this. Nick She'll still give asshole. you one. She'll still give you one anyway. Because okay. she's like, yeah, my brother's a douche. Sorry about that. <laughs> Pokemon around the world await for you, John. Professor Oak's last Pokemon. <laughs> then in like some like shocking twist, the the one that neither of you take somehow like turns out to be the final boss or something. Emb <laughs> embittered by rejection. <laughs> Grandpa asked you to run an errand. Jeez, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. John received a town map from Daisy. John put the town map in the key item spot. Okay, now it's now it's okay. Now it's like it's our character's ambition to be a po great po a Pokemon trainer. What, what what does that involve? Like, what do they do? Uh, wh I'm sorry. What did you say? Now they said it's like it's our character's ambition to be like a Pokemon trainer, right? Yeah. Now what do they do? Um, catch different kinds of Pokemon, assemble a team, and beat asses. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Now they just like fight other people's Pokemon for sport, or what is? How does it work? Pretty much, actually. Okay. Oh, good. You and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. Considering how much everyone seems to be into Pokemon, so it's like this whole society kind of re revolves around this this grim blood sport. It does. Interesting. Oh, maybe we can. No, it says like I think it said it, it's like it helps to weaken them first. Yes, as in like you know get their get their HP lower. All right, we gotta work them over a bit. Yeah. Make him talk. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you hit him one more time and then you should be good to catch him. Yep, perfect. Alright. There we go. I gotcha! Your soul is mine! You got him. Pidgey was caught. Good job. Pidgey's data was added to the Pokedex. Does not like to fight. Tiny Pokemon. Height, one foot. Weight, four pounds. This guy, this guy is tiny. Does not like to fight. It hides in tall grass and so on, foraging for food such as small bugs. See, they say that, but he attacked you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he he looks pretty hostile in that picture, I have to say. A little bit. He's got he his looks like a got, mean little shit. He's got his don't fuck with me face. <laughs> Guess you step around my territory like you thought I wouldn't notice. Can you change to the captured Pidgey? Okay, this one's also a guy. Alright. Okay. This is one of my other associates in Let's Play. Did, um... We did... I did, uh, Let's Play Trying 2 with him. Let's Play... Did, did some, some of Let's Play on turn with him. That's Good cool. Guy. Pidgey appeared. Go, Cory! Yeah, Pokemon. Can we like change? Can we like swap mid battle, or do we have to set that beforehand? Oh no, you can you can swap mid battle if you want to. But oh, I Jay, Jay, Jay Beetle's still at one hit point. I see. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't it doesn't heal them up when you when you catch them.
Oh, I didn't. It actually gives the, the Pokemon sex in the little in the screen up there. I didn't notice it. Yep, sure does. Gotcha. Hey, level up. capturing him. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Ha! Oh, oh no. no! Now, what what you could do, um, you could actually leech seed it and wait it out a couple turns. If you really wanted to, I mean, obviously... Obviously, it's not that important. There's 800 million Rattatas out there. He was given a chance to surrender. He wants to... He made his choice. Oh! I didn't even move! I just changed Yeah, spacing. exactly, exactly. I was about to say, I've had it happen before where I walked a bit one step <laughs> and it's kicked me into another. Oh, and the leech seed missed. Okay. Oh. Death's door here. A little bit. You can always run away, it is a wild Pokemon fight. Throwing at him. That may not be a good idea. He's in red, I'm gonna try capturing him now. Alright! Excellent! Cory is not fit for another battle. Rattata. It's Fang's mouse Pokemon. Its fangs are long and very sharp. They grow continuously, so it gnaws on hard things to whittle them down. Give it names. That's one. That's a, that's a female. First female Pokemon. Good friend, good friend Jade. Robot Geek site, excellent streamer. Nice. Alright, welcome aboard. I think we're gonna go back and heal. Yeah, that may not be a bad idea. Because, like, every Pokemon I have is, like, one hit from. Yeah, exactly. Just hope I don't. Yeah. Oh god, you made it! You made it! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, now I guess we could actually try putting some of the others in a fight. Yeah, you could. I mean, with their level being lower, you're obviously going to have to baby them a little bit. Right. At least until they, you know, get started. Seems like doing it here in the early, easiest part, or easiest area is the best place to do it, it seems. Like. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, let's, let's try. Can you change them mid-battle? Yes. Or you could also, you know, change them right now to where... To where you change the one that comes out first. Okay. Yeah, I would say definitely stick close to one of the towns just in case, you know, yeah. something right. happens. <laughs> Wild Rotata. Go, Jay Beetle! Well, he's only level three. When we got, when we got Corey, he was already level five. Right. Ow. 
Yeah, he's gonna do more damage because he did that tail whip first. Uh, he ain't doing nothing. <laughs> he's dead. Nice. Already almost leveled up. Now there's no penalty for him getting knocked out, right? I mean, no. Resuscitate him for free at the next. Uh... Exactly. 